traces are notes to manage and track the performance of tasks within a single department, across a property, or an entire enterprise easily and efficiently. A trace can relate to literally any task that needs to be monitored to completion. Some examples include routine repeating tasks such as cleaning the cobwebs from the ceiling fan, reminders of expiring leases and contracts, touch points with guests, companies or travel agents, or the provision of amenities and services to guests. Traces are displayed on the to-do chart and can be assigned to an area, room, a reservation, company, travel agent, guest or group. Traces can be used to communicate and delegate tasks to a department and notifications can be sent to the message centre for a specific user. As an example, we'll add a trace to a reservation. In the requirements slash traces area, select the three dots and choose add trace. At this point, especially if you've been using RMS for a while, you might be wondering, what's the difference between a trace and a requirement? There are similarities and some overlap, but the fundamental difference is that requirements are predominantly designed for the provision of an item or service to a guest, typically, but not necessarily, including a charge. Traces are for managing literally anything that happens at your property from day to day. There may be some items that could be handled by a requirement or a trace. After you've been using traces for a while, it will become obvious which is the more appropriate option. In the new trace screen is a drop-down list for choosing a template. We'll come back to that shortly. For now, we'll create an ad hoc trace on the fly. First, choose the department that is responsible for the completion of the task. Assigning a department to a trace is integral to how the feature works. This shows everyone which department or individual user is tasked with completing this trace. Larger properties will already have defined departments. Smaller properties may choose to have just one single department. Users who perform a range of duties may belong to a department called something like all-rounders. It's all up to you. Create departments in lookup tables and assign them to staff in user information. Enter a short description or subject for the trace and then the details of the task to be performed. For a trace that will occur on or by a specific date, choose a due date from the calendar. For traces that will occur over several days, choose a date range. If the trace repeats on a regular basis over longer date ranges, choose the frequency from the drop-down. If it is weekly, choose on which day or days the task is to occur. If the task repeats monthly, select the dates that apply. Add a user from this drop-down list so that they can be notified in the message centre each time this task is due. Use this checkbox to mark a single trace as complete. A new trace can be added directly from the to-do list from here. In the lookup table section under setup, create traces templates for frequently performed tasks. Choose a trace type from the drop-down and add a short and long description. In the Department tab, add the departments to which this task will apply. This template is now available whenever you create a new trace. Some examples of how you might use a trace include the following. From an area, add a recurring task to perform regular maintenance jobs or checks. From a group allotment, add traces as reminders to follow up at various milestones of the reservation. From a company or travel agent, add traces to remember critical dates. View traces in this tab. From a guest profile, add a trace to remember occasions, such as birthdays or anniversaries.
the Traces report can build a list dependent on date range, template, department, user and more. Manage Traces in the To-Do chart. Highlight a day and select the Daily Requirements icon. Here you can quickly go to a trace to edit it or mark it as complete. By default, traces are not visible to all users. To allow a user to access traces, edit their security profile. Permissions can be applied very specifically to individual trace types and actions. Start experimenting with traces today to make sure everything that needs to be done gets done on time.